Hello and welcome to this month's Maggie Moment. I would love to have a chat this month about what happens in families when one of the parents is away for a significant period of time. So that can be those that are in the military, that can be those who are FIFO, that can be those who maybe have a sick child who needs a parent beside them full time in a hospital that may not be close by. And sometimes it can be um, temporary things like sometimes uh, for a month where a, a, a particular mum or dad has to go for something for work and, and is unable to come back. So these extended periods of time for children, again, um, they do upset them. And of course they do, they want their parents around. So I wanna give you some ideas that helps your children to feel connected and loved to you while you are away. And obviously we've got a wonderful technology, well, well parts of it are wonderful, but the part that's really wonderful is you can Skype or FaceTime and your children can see you. And I'm going to say that's incredibly important because children can sometimes have um, irrational thoughts around your safety if they haven't seen you. So being able to see you is really important. And then some of the other things that can help them feel connected to you, uh, I explore in my love bridges, but there's a few that are particularly helpful. One is actually having something, um, it can be a shirt, a t-shirt, something that actually has a, um, a sense of the body smell. I know that sounds a bit dodgy, but it isn't really, because we know what our parents smell like. Or um, the essence, uh, maybe a um, an aftershave or a perfume. Hope it's not Old Spice, seriously, that's a bit dodgy. But once again, what we're looking for is that the smell triggers connection memories almost faster than any other scent. So sometimes like when they're having a tough night, they might snuggle it out from under the pillow. Next one I wanna to touch on is the metaphor of leaving and coming back is something that children um, can actually handle better with on a metaphor level. So if you get those little matching figurines or even something that's similar, and when the parent leaves, whoever it is, they take with it one of those things. So there's one that sits a little bit lonely on the mantelpiece. But one of the first things they do when they come back in the door is they put it back up on there. And so quite often it's a way for children to remember, uh, have we got mum or dad away? Oh yeah, they are away. And when they're back, there's this sense of rejoining. Another technique that works really well is sending rainbows of love. You can talk to your children about, obviously won't work with a 14 year old, don't go there. So you can look about what color would my love be for you that's in my heart? And then each of you can do that, the child can do it and the parent can do it so that when you're away, they send a rainbow of that color. And you say, before you wake up every morning or as soon as you wake up, I'm sending you a rainbow of love and I'm sending you a rainbow of love last thing every night. That can really make a difference for children, particularly under seven, because imagination is very real. But be prepared, they'll sometimes say, did you get the rainbow I sent yesterday at two o'clock? <laughs> so say yes, that's really good. Um, another one that's a bit like that um, um, is you can actually record, and remember whichever parent is leaving, you don't record on their phone, you record on the parent who's home. You can now record bedtime stories um, bedtime rituals are beautiful on that and I've seen young children um, with FIFO dads laying in bed listening to it over and over again whenever they miss their daddy. So again there are ways that we can bridge the sense of separation by just simple strategies um, that make our children feel that we love them from a distance. And the last golden tip is don't forget snail mail. <laughs> I mean I know that can be a bit slow but getting something in the mail and it can be just a postcard it doesn't have to be an expensive gift. Oh my goodness, that gives a massive little peak. And you may be very busy at that point when they get it. And there's this that extra thing. And the last thing is, possibly when you bring things home, don't make them too big. Make them something very small that's regular. So the same little chocolate frog might come home or the same little something comes home because it means you thought of me when I wasn't with you. So again, separation from our parents, real or imagined, can be bridged by simple strategies that we do when they're away from our home because they're never, ever away from our heart and they need to know that. And that's all for today.